Should I wear the hat? Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It is time for my long anticipated 2023 holiday gift guide and giveaways video. I also have on my holiday Mary sweatshirt. This one is from Pink Lily if you're interested. They always have fun holiday things. This is not sponsored. Uh, this is not part of the giveaway. I just, you know, was trying to play the part today. So if you are a new viewer, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. I always do an annual holiday gift guide and giveaways video. This is where I share all of my favorite gift ideas for the year. And then I do giveaways or discount codes for all of these items as well. So just to get in the mood, I highly suggest getting on something festive to match, grab something warm to drink like some cocoa or some tea or maybe a little cappuccino, whatever you like. Get a soft cozy blanket, sit back and enjoy the video. Please know that I did handpick all of these items. They are my top favorite picks for this year and I hope you're going to like them as well. Really quickly, most of the giveaways are going to be run on Instagram and Facebook. The first item that I'm about to talk about is going to be the one for here on YouTube. So you're going to want to make sure you're following me in all three places. So follow on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook um, to be able to partake in all of these giveaways. That way you won't miss anything. The first giveaway though is going to be run here on YouTube and I will tell you how to enter that as soon as we talk about the product. So my first product <laughs> I'm so excited about is the Laura Star. This is their Laura Star Lift Extra Titan. This thing is so awesome and I will have a full video tutorial and unboxing and review coming on this soon, but I also wanted to be able to feature it in today's video so that we can do a giveaway and a coupon code. So I recently partnered with Laura Star Irons. If you are unfamiliar with their company, they make steam irons. They are fabulous for clothing and you know garments, but also in the quilting world. And so I've seen a lot of people starting to to use these. The key to these Laura Star irons is a dry microfine steam. It takes care of the beautiful gentle fabrics, but also it's perfect for quilting and getting super nice flat seams. I don't have a lot of fancy clothing that I need to iron, but I of course quilt and I am really looking for something that's going to give me a nice beautiful seam. So it's been a few weeks since I've gotten it. I've had a lot of time to play with it and try it out on different things. So one of the things that I do in my house is switch out my quilts all the time seasonally. So when I go get them out of the closet, bring them back out for their time to shine, they always have creases in them from being folded in my closet for so long. But I was wondering if the Laura Star could do that for me and save me some time. So I grabbed my, uh, this is Franny's Tree Farm, I grabbed this out of the closet just to test it out. And sure enough, I just press right over those seams using full steam and they like magically disappeared. So tip number one, use them for your quilts to get the creases out of your quilts. It was so fast and easy and now I can hang up this quilt and it won't look like it's been stored in a closet all year long. Tip number two, you can use this steamer to block your knit and crochet items. So I'm in the middle of working on this fun little crochet blanket and I have a ton of granny squares to make for it. And I thought, you know what? I wonder if I could use that to block my knit and crochet. And sure enough, it took about two seconds to block all of my little squares. I'm making a bunch of these little guys and I just for reference in this video I'll show you one that's not blocked and one that is blocked and I just pinned it out on my little board here, sprayed some steam on it and because it's a dry steam I didn't have to wait for that to dry overnight like I normally do. I do have a video on how to block your um, knit and crochet here on YouTube and I did it with water and then you just let it sit overnight and within about 24 hours your knitwear or crochet items are dry and then you can move forward with whatever next steps you need. Since this is a dry steam it took me about three seconds. I just steamed it really quickly and then I thought, I wonder if it's going to have to sit there. I went ahead and just pulled out the pins really fast to see and it was already dry and blocked. And you can see the difference in it here as well. This one blocked. It took me about three seconds to steam block it with my Laura Star and this is the one that is not blocked. The other thing you can use this for is your cross stitch pieces. So when I'm cross stitching, I crinkle all my fabric up in my hand so I can get to where I need. By the time I'm done working on my pieces, as you can see, they're usually pretty crinkled and folded up. And so usually what I will do is lay them face down, put a towel on top, and then just kind of delicately press through that towel. But I thought, you know what, I bet you can steam this and then you don't even have to really touch the fabric. I 
just lay this down. I still do it face down just to be safe and then gently just run the steamer over. I'm not actually even really touching the fabric with the iron, but since it's just a dry steam, you actually can anyway and you don't have to worry about, you know, crunching up your little stitches or anything like that. So, so not only can I use it for quilting, I can use it for my delicate fabrics for my daughter who sews her own like prom dresses and things. You can use it to get creases out of your quilts. You can use it to press and block your knit and crochet wear. You can use it for your cross stitch. And then of course you can still use it for its sanitizing features on things like pillows and mattresses and curtains and anything that needs to be steamed. And awesome news, I do have a 10% coupon code for you guys as well. I have a link to the Laura Star website below and then you can use coupon code Erica23 to get 10% off your order, which is awesome. And I have a giveaway for one of their products as well. I'll put all that information right here on the screen so that you can screenshot it or write it down. And all of that will also be linked below this video. For the Laura Star giveaway, make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. Number two, make sure to head over and subscribe to their YouTube channel. And also this giveaway is US only. So make sure that you are living in the United States. And then number three, head over to the laurastarus.com website and take a look at their Lyft products and then come back here and leave me a comment below letting me know which product is your favorite, what color is your favorite, and maybe even what color you'd like to see in their upcoming products. My vote is for like a light blush pink. I think that would be awesome and I would be all over that one. All right, so that's it for my first product. Make sure to leave a comment below. Make sure you subscribe over at Laura Star on YouTube. And then I will be posting these giveaways also on Instagram and Facebook. So make sure you're following me in all of those locations. For the rest of the products mentioned in today, the giveaways will be running daily on my social media starting tomorrow. So make sure you are subscribed to my Facebook and Instagram, you will start seeing those popping up every morning at 10 a.m. So fabric, we all know <laughs> every year I recommend fabric. It can be kind of difficult buying fabric for people though. So one of the things that I love getting is gift cards. And this year for you guys, I have a hundred dollar gift card for Fat Quarter Shop. That means you can go and pick out whatever fabric you love or notions or books or any kind of goodies. And kind of, I like doing gift cards because it's kind of the gift that you can't go wrong on. People can pick out anything they want. So I do have a hundred dollar gift card for you. And you know, I love Fat Quarter Shop and I work with them quite a bit. So in addition to that, I do have a really fun gift basket full of hand-picked items by me, some of my favorites, and I'm going to just bundle those all up in a fun little gift and giveaway for you guys. So usually for these videos, I will also always include a gift basket because I just love putting together all of my fun favorite notions and then just putting them all together into one beautiful package for one of you guys. So I have both of those things that is sponsored by Fat Quarter Shop and that giveaway will be coming available on Instagram and Facebook coming soon. So this this next giveaway is from one of my all-time favorite companies and you guys have seen this more than once but Modern American Vintage is run by a man named Chris who does handmade wooden uh, I would call them sewing notions and tools, and they are amazing. They are works of art. They're absolutely beautiful. I have an entire set of the tools here. I've showed this probably for the last, I think I've had these for about three years now, um, and he makes all kinds of things. So I've got a point turner, or actually this is a stiletto, sorry. I have a point turner. I've got a hair marker. This is a seam press. What else do I have in here? A seam roller. <laughs> I've got a couple different seam rippers. So here's what my set looks like, but he has several different wood options. I believe this one is called Ambrosia. I'll put it on the screen below in case I'm wrong. Uh, but this was one of my favorites. He has since come out with all kinds of different designs. He is also always adding new and unusual different styles of wood. Um, and so it's just absolutely amazing. So for today's giveaway, um, Chris started making these. These are thread spool holders. These are perfect for if you have these little vintage Singer sewing machines back here um, are other sewing machines that don't have the thread spool holder on top of them perfect for that so they've got this beautiful base and the base has these little kind of rubber on the bottom that so it keeps it from moving around and they are they do come apart by the way so they're really easy to store it has a nice removable piece right here that you can use to put either a cone or a regular thread spool on. And then of course this portion is adjustable and this is where your thread is gonna sit, spool it up through this, and then you can from there go to your machine. So these little thread spool holders are 
so fun. They're really cute and I think a creative gift, this would be really fun also to put in a gift basket um, or to get on its own. I will be giving away one of these to one of you for our giveaways coming up. So again, Facebook and Instagram is where these are all gonna be running. Um, but this one is just so beautiful. I'm really happy to have it. So if you don't know, the Singer Featherweights and some other vintage machines are kind of meant to be used with the spools that are wound horizontally. So here's like one of my little vintage spools that I have. And as you can see, the threads are just wound horizontally. I think Coats and Clarks still winds their threads that way. I tend to use Aurifil thread and hopefully you can see here on video, but the Aurifil thread is actually wound at more of a crisscrossing manner. I don't know what you call that, um, but it doesn't work very well on those featherweights because the featherweight, the spool sits right there on top and the thread comes off the side of it and then down into the machine. And so as long as you're using one of these spools, the thread can just pull right off almost just like it's on a bobbin. These ones, the thread is going up and down, which makes this thing just kind of go like crazy on top of there. So it's just constantly wobbling, which can really mess with your tension. So the solution to that is to use one of these. You can put your little thread right on there and then your thread is actually pulling up off the spool and then running into the machine so you don't have this thing going like wild on you while you're trying to sew. So this is really helpful for those vintage machines. It's also just a beautiful addition to your sewing room. So I will have one of those for this giveaway. But honestly, I think any of Chris's products, all of these are absolutely beautiful. I know I would love to get this in my gifts this year. And to go along with that giveaway, I also have a coupon code for you guys. You can head over to modernamericanvintage.com and use coupon code erica 23 MAV to get free shipping on orders over $75. That coupon code is active now and then stay tuned for the giveaway coming soon. My next item that I love and I recommend this item every year and I use this on so many different things is my Stella Go. So this is what it looks like. It actually has a little charging plate over there that I just leave plugged in all the time and then this thing goes with me everywhere. So it's wireless as you can see and you just set it on the charging station kind of just like a and it just wirelessly charges when not in use. It says it lasts for about 11 hours. Um, I can't exactly verify that because I've just never had it run out on me before. So I use it all night to cross stitch or knit or you know do anything like that. I use it to color match fabric, um, especially in the evenings when I've got these overhead lights. My lights are really yellow in this office and so a color matching things is kind of difficult. So I always pull out my Stella Go. Um, they also have ones that are not um, you know, that have a plug in them. I think they're a little bit less than the Stella Go, um, but this one is really the one I recommend because it's just so versatile and I can just take it to my living room and cross stitch in the evenings or knit or do anything I want and have amazing lighting. It actually has, let me turn it on for you, sorry. Okay, it actually has a few different lighting options. So it has different modes. So I think this one is the regular one. This is the one I always use. It also has kind of a yellow warm glow and then it has like a blue one. I don't like those two at all. I just stick with this one that's a natural daylight and then it's got different volumes so I can turn it up I think that's the brightest and then you can turn it down and I like that feature because i um, a lot of times if we're doing movies or anything like that I will keep it kind of down on the lower setting I can still see what I'm doing but it's not bothering the people around me so Here's what the little control panel looks like so this just turns it on and this changes your modes and then this increases or decreases your brightness. And then you can just tap it to turn it off. So I actually have two of these. I have one that is uh, the plug-in kind. That one's actually sitting behind my computer and I kind of use it as a nightlight in the evening when I'm working because it helps give me um, just normal lighting so that I can you know, do graphic design and things like that. And then this one is my one that comes with me everywhere I go. So this is always one of my top gift items. Um, I think I've recommended it for the last like two or three years. Um, I don't remember. I've had this one for a little while and it just keeps on going and I love it. So I just keep showing you guys. I do also have a coupon code for you for this one. You can use Erica 20 to get 20% off your order from StellaLighting.com and that will be linked below as well. All right, speaking of fabric, were we speaking of fabric? I feel like we're always speaking of fabric here. So I love doing fabric giveaways and fabric is one of my favorite things to give uh, to my quilty friends as well. And you guys know I love Poppy Cotton and so Poppy Cotton has been generous enough to send me a huge box full of fun fabric to share with you guys. So we're gonna go through it really quickly here. I have lots of fun bundles. And these are actually what I would call like sample spree items because some of these haven't released yet. So you're seeing these, um, unless you were at Quilt Market, you're seeing these possibly for the first time here. So this first bundle is called Nature Sings. It ships in April of 2024. And this is by Lori Woods. 
This next bundle is called Finding Wonder. It ships in March of 2024 and it's by Sherry McCauley. And all these bundles are gonna be available for individual giveaway. So make sure again, you're following me on those social media channels. This next one is called Promise Me. It's shipping in January of 2024 by, uh, let's see, Michelle, or I think, I think that's how you say it, Michelle Marco. This next one is called Moonbeam Dreams, shipping November 2023. So that might be shipping now by Amanda Grace Designs. Um, and if you don't win the giveaway, stay tuned for these because they will be releasing to your quilt shops um, when I'm mentioning. So this next one is called Sweet Tooth, shipping May of 2024 by Alea Lutz. All right, and then this last bundle is called Prairie Christmas. It ships June 2024 by Amanda Grace Designs, and, and this line is so much fun. I will be doing giveaways for all of these bundles, but also keep um, an eye out because these will be showing up in your fabric stores soon. So my next feature is going to be a quilt kit. I love giving patterns along with everything they need to make that one project. I think that is like one of the perfect gifts. And I love doing that because it kind of reminds me of being a kid again. You know how when you're a little kid and you get like this one toy that you wanted and you just immediately open it up and start playing with it? That's kind of like that, but for adults. So you get a little quilt kit. It's got the pattern, the fabric and everything you need. You can literally just start sewing right then and there. And as you guys know, I always work with Catching Stitches to kit all of my patterns. If you haven't stopped by catchingstitches.com yet, definitely head over and check her store out. Carrie is actually, not only is she just an amazing person, but she is amazing at putting colors together. So if you've ever gotten one of her specially curated fabric bundles, you know what I'm talking about. She is great at putting together fabrics and just mixing and matching the colors and they just turn out so beautifully. So I really trust her when we're doing my patterns to help me pick out the perfect fabrics for our kids. And so her and I have actually, if you've noticed, for the past two patterns, we've actually been working ahead of time before I release the pattern so that we can release the exact same kit to you guys. I know it's sort of frustrating when I put out a pattern and it's in fabrics that you just can't get anymore. And so we're trying to be better about that. So for today's feature and giveaway, I do have a copy of the Cup of Cheer quilt pattern for you guys. And Carrie is donating a Cup of Cheer fabric kit as well. So you're gonna get all of the fabric that you need to make this beautiful quilt behind me. It includes all the fabric for the topping and the binding. I think you still need to get the backing. And she does have a variety of five yard backings for sale on her website, which is awesome. Um, it makes it really, really easy. You can just go and pick out your fabric and bam, all done and you're ready to get started quilting. So this one, this so this giveaway is sponsored by Carry It Catching Stitches and we will be giving away a cup of cheer quilt pattern plus the entire fabric kit that you need to make the quilt. So stay tuned for that. That will be coming on Instagram as well. So speaking of quilt kits and fabric and notions, I have an adorable little package sent to me from Riley Blake for you guys today. This will be again another giveaway. I feel like this one's kind of almost like a staple you could have in your stash and then just be able to pull out specific colors as needed. Um, but this one is called Storytime 30s uh, for Riley Blake Designs. It was by, oh, the Storytime 30s by the Riley Blake Designers. So I think this is actually like a group several different designers, but look at this cute bundle. So this is a fat quarter bundle. So 32 different designs. It's just an adorable little rainbow color of 1930s small prints. And as you can kind of see from the tops and bottoms there, I don't want to take this apart because it is a gift. And so I want it to look nice and pretty for you guys. But these little 30s prints are so much fun. They're all just tiny. And so they really match in with all kinds of different things. And the fact that it's a rainbow bundle, I think is going to make it really nice and versatile. And then I have a couple fun Riley Blake notions to share with you as well. So these are a couple of my favorites. This first one is the churn dash binding holder. And these are really good if you pre-make your bindings, which I like to do. You can just pre-make your bindings and then just wrap them around that little binding holder. It actually holds it up almost like a bolt of fabric. So you can just put them, if you have a few of these, you can just stick them in um, to like a shelf or something. You can toss them in a drawer even. Um, and it just keeps your binding nice and safe until you're ready to use it. So that's kind of a fun little notion. And then my other two things I wanted to share. This one I actually have used in a few different videos. This is called Cindy's Seam Ripper. And this is just a different style seam ripper. You just hold it with your thumb and first finger and it's super handy. I actually really love this. So I wanted to add this into this little bundle because it's just tiny, it's cute, but it's so functional. I love these. And then of course, a cute little house 
These are the little Riley Blake bird and they come in this cute bird house. So I wanted to add those in. I told you I like doing little gift baskets full of notions. Well, this is, this is why, because they're just so cute. It's hard to turn them down. So I'm not gonna open these two because they are part of this giveaway um, for you guys. So I wanna keep them nice and um, in their packages, but I did also want to share with you a couple of my favorite notions from Riley Blake. So this gift will be the fabric plus those little notions. And I think you guys are gonna love it. So my next gift idea comes from a company that I actually partnered with earlier this year. And I did a whole unboxing video and installation video for this product as well. So you can check that out on YouTube for a little bit more in-depth details about them. But this is my Felt Right design wall. So Felt Right has, it's the coolest company. They have created a variety of different sizes and shapes and colors of felt tiles that you can put on your wall. They're perfect for design boards. You can also use them as sound dampeners. You can use them as just a design element. They're so much fun. My favorite thing is that it's a beautiful design on my wall when I'm not having something up on it because I did have a design wall before. I do have a DIY on how to do that here on YouTube. Um, and I had that for a long time, which I loved, but it was just plain white when I didn't have any blocks on it and so I always kind of was wanting to put stuff on there and keep it decorated. This one, when I don't have any blocks on it, it's beautiful and it's just an, like an art element in my sewing room even when not in use. So I love having that in my room. And they recently sent me some other samples of some of their new fall colors. Look at these beautiful colors together. These are rectangular shaped tiles. These ones are about six by 12. So two of them together would be like a 12 by 12 square, which in my quilter's brain <laughs> makes more sense. Uh, but look at these fun colors. The other thing they recently sent me were holiday home decor items, which is brand new for their website. They sent me some Halloween fall items. And then I did look on their website and they've got Christmas ones as well. So they've got trees, reindeer, snowflakes, flakes. I'll show you a little clip of their website here, but definitely head over to feltright.com and see what they have to offer. Not only can you buy a pre-made design, so it's kind of the work's done for you, but you can also go into their design studio and design your own. So you can make something that fits your unique space. You can choose any of the colors they have available for you, different uh, shapes, sizes, all that stuff. So it's really, really cool. You can just design your own beautiful living space. And I've seen a lot of people put these just in their home as like a design element but I've also obviously been using mine as a design board so for the giveaway for this one you guys are definitely gonna want to keep an eye out on my social media I have three $350 gift cards to give out to you guys so I'm gonna have three winners for that and then I do have a coupon code you can use right now I've got an affiliate link below this video and you can use coupon code Erica 10 to get 10% off your order my next gift is sponsored by thread graffiti if you are at all in the quilting world I'm sure you have all already heard of Gina tell of thread graffiti she is amazing long arm quilter and she came up with these two rulers that I got a hold of earlier this year and I love them so much I wanted to be able to share them in this year's video so she put together these two rulers you can I don't know if you can scan this off of this YouTube video but if you can give it a try scan this with your phone and it'll take you to her YouTube channel where she has all the information on how to use both of these I also have a video on my channel um, showing these as well I got them I've had them for a few months now so this first one is called the scant trimmer ruler and it's just this nice long ruler and you use this to trim a scant quarter of an inch when you're squaring up your quilt so it's got this little ridge on it which so the ruler has this little ridge right here which is kind of it's kind of hard to see on video I think but you line that up with your quilt top and then it actually leaves just a scant quarter of an inch of batting on the outside edge past your quilt top so that when you're binding it you're actually having a little bit of batting in that binding to kind of fill up your batting if you've ever had a quilt project where the batting feels like just loose and empty in there that's what this is for it gives you a little bit of batting so that when you add your binding around to the back side it's got some batting inside that binding so it makes your binding nice and squishy so this is a really handy uh, ruler not only that but it's just a handy ruler in general she's got inch marks on it and it's a great size um, the next little thing that comes with that I think they're a set or at least I got mine as a set is this little guy I think it's called the binding boss and it's a two and a half inch binding boss so if you use two and a half inch binding this is a great little tool it's got a quarter of an inch cut out over here on this side and then it's got this diagonal line right here and it just helps guide you when you're putting your binding together and her video shows you exactly how to use this so I am going to refer you to that so you can check that out and see how to use these but uh, she kindly donated one of these for giveaway for you guys as well so I think these are going to be really fun and I was excited to add them in because since I've gotten them I've actually used them quite a bit so these are a couple of my new favorites 
She also gave me a discount coupon code of Erica23 that you can use in her shop, so make sure to take advantage of that as well. This next item is not new to me, but part of it's new to me. So I have been using, and I'm sure you have heard of, So Tights Magnets. They've been around for a while now, and I've been using them quite a bit in my English paper piecing. So in my English paper piecing video, I showed you some of these little guys. I use the hearts because they're cute. These are the tulip pink hearts. They also have a variety of different sizes as well. These are perfect for keeping those pieces together when you're English paper piecing, but I also recently got a long arm setup couple years ago, I think it was, and I reached out to Sew Tights because what I really wanted to try was their Sew Tights Magnums. And so they sent me, <laughs> there we go, they sent me this set. Actually, I have two sets and I do have one for giveaway as well. These are the Sew Tight Magnums. These are great for loading long arm machines. Now they do come in this handy little container, um, but I've actually taken mine out and put them into my long arm, but you can keep them in here if you use them for you know other project, uh, something else besides your long arm. And here's what the set looks like. Look at these guys. They are no joke. I'm gonna pull one off of there to kind of show you. The best way to get them off is to slide them apart because they are such strong magnets. So I've recently put these on my long arm and I love them. They have sped up my long arm loading. Like I don't even know the time amounts because I used to sit there and pin my backing on and then you roll it up and then you pin the bottom on. And I use corsage pins because they're nice and strong but they're also super pokey. And I have definitely had a few little, you know, pokes on my fingers from using those. It is not fun and also you don't want to get any blood on like your quilt project or especially if you're working for somebody else you don't want anything on their fabric as well so these alleviate the pin poking and they are so fast so i do have a video coming soon on how to put these on your long arm with all the instructions and details and everything uh, that will be coming soon but now loading my long arm is a total breeze so i wanted to feature the sew tights in this year's um, giveaway and gift guide because these things are absolutely amazing. So for the giveaway for this one, I am gonna be having either, you can choose either a five pack of magnets or a machine mix 12 packs. And I also have a 15% off if you use my affiliate link, which will be listed below here as well. So you can get 15% off your order as well. But I really wanted to feature these and be able to give some away to you guys because these have been just a game changer for my long arm machine. So stay tuned for that giveaway coming soon. This next product I'm really excited about. This is not exactly a quilting item, but I would definitely put this in a little quilting gift basket or even by itself, or like if you're doing like a little baking goodie basket or something. But this is from Antique Candle Co. So I bought, I think it was a couple months ago, two or three months ago, I got my first Antique Candle Co. Cause I kept seeing them popping up on uh, social media and I was like, all right, what's all the fuss about? And so I just went ahead and ordered a couple different scents to try and I loved them so much. I love a couple things about this company. So we're gonna go through everything. But the first thing I love is the packaging. So I love that they're in these little jars with this kind of vintagey looking lid on top. They're so cute. So when you have these burning in your house, I mean, they just look absolutely adorable. This is my favorite one, spiced cranberry. So for this one, I'm gonna be picking two winners. Um, you're gonna get a four pack sampler, which is what I have here. So I have four cents. This one is the spiced cranberry, and this one is my absolute, this one's probably my favorite, but I also, I always love um, cranberry. Um, I don't smell so much of the spice, just a little bit of spicy in there. It's not like cinnamony at all, but it's definitely fruity smelling. Um, so cranberry smelling, and it also just, it smells like warm and cozy, so Christmas for sure for that one. The other one I got, this one is called Sugar Cookie, and it literally smells exactly like a sugar cookie. Like if you're baking cookies, oh my gosh, perfect for your kitchen. So yay for that one. The next one I have is called Tree Farm. This one is definitely kind of a tree scent, like piney, um, but not too overpowering. I particularly don't like candles that are super like balsamy, piney scents. Um, I'm not sure what it is in there. They always, they have like this harsh smell to me. This doesn't have that at all. It almost smells soft, like a soft pine tree. If that's at all a description, <laughs> I'm horrible at describing these things, but this one I love. And so tree farm, perfect for the holidays. And then the last one I got is called Christmas day. And you can imagine, I should have read there. This one is like apple and a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of like orange maybe. 
Oh my gosh, this, okay, so I think this one, I just said spiced cranberry was my favorite. I think Christmas day is actually my favorite. And this is the one that I ordered last time. I got Christmas day and I got a tree farm last time. And oh my gosh, this one, this is my favorite. I probably will burn the other ones and save this one right for Christmas and have this burning on Christmas Eve and Christmas day because whoa, oh, it's so good. So like I said, one of the things I really love about these candles is the container. The containers are adorable. They also have refill packets on their website so you can reuse the containers so you're not just like throwing them away. The other thing I do, which you might laugh, um, but I br burn them all to the bottom and then I stick them in the freezer for about 20 or so minutes just to get that wax really nice and hard. And then if you use just like a, a knife or something, you can pop that wax out and it leaves the jar totally clean. And then I stick them in my dishwasher and then we actually use these as drinking cups. So um, you can also use these as dessert cups and layer like a strawberry shortcake kind of thing with like some pudding some strawberries some like crushed graham crackers and then some like whipped cream or something and then put the lid on keep them in the refrigerator and then when you need just a fun little dessert um, they are perfect you can also use these for gifting um, I did a video one year on it was a video or a blog post on cookie mixes in a jar and so it tells you exactly how much to put in of each measurement and you put them in the jar in layers so it, so it's like chocolate chip cookies or something like that and so those are really fun gifts too so there's a lot of things you can do with those so it's not like you're wasting the product so i love that they're reusable um, so one of my favorite things about that company also the other thing i love about them is they are clean burning so domestically grown natural soy wax so no no paraffin they are also sustainable glass jars like i said with a lead free cotton wicks they are also 100% vegan, which is always lovely. And then they have hand-picked fragrances that are tested um, by thousands of candle friends across the United States, including me. So they also have little baby ones if you want to just test them. So if you're not sure if you like the scents, I know sometimes buying candles online um, can be really difficult. I will say that I've been happy with pretty much every fragrance I've bought from them. They're not so overpowering that if you buy it, you're like, oh, you know, sometimes when you're in the candle shop and you smell stuff, it's like, oh my gosh, <laughs> no. Um, I have not had an issue with any of their candles being like that. They're all just lovely, beautiful, light scents. Um, they have a new one called Vanilla Spice that I'm dying to get my hands on, so I need to order that one next. The other cool thing they do is they put together bundles of their either most popular or kind of like, like a vibe sense. So they have one right now called Cozy, uh, Comfy Cozy Bundle of Six, and it includes the Vanilla Spice Latte, Fireside, Mama's Kitchen, Sugar Cookie, Tree Farm, and Vanilla Bean. And so I just think that's so fun. So I know these weren't quilty, but I did want to add them in today's video because I think they would make a lovely gift. You can do a gift set, you can add it to a gift basket, um, just perfect. And since they're the clean, burning, and like I said, kind of lighter scents, I think they would be a great gift for pretty much anyone on your list. Now, as most of you know, I have been doing a lot of crochet this year, and one of my latest patterns was my crochet granny star tote bag. It was a lot of fun. You guys loved it, and Piney Creek was kind enough to do kits for me for that project, and I have a giveaway for one of those kits as well. So it's gonna be including the pattern for the tote bag. There's also video instructions on YouTube for that. Piney Creek has donated all of the yarn needed to do that kit. We also are including one of these Coco Knits handle straps. These are the same straps that I put on mine. I've also got a cute little tape measure in this kit, some Knitter's Pride stitch markers, an adorable set of handmade woven labels. You can use these on any projects, um, bags, hats, sweaters, anything. And then also the crochet hook needed to knit that. So this little giveaway kit is gonna be happening over on Instagram, so stay tuned for that. And that one was sponsored by Piney Creek Yarn. And you can also head over to pineycreekyarn.com. They have kits for my Granny Star Afghan, and they also have all of the yarn needed to make any of the socks that I showed last year. So I've got my sleigh ride socks, my jingle socks, and then over over here on YouTube, I did do that just two-toned sock tutorial here. So definitely head over and check that out. Piney Creek Yarn has all of that yarn available in a variety of colors so you can mix and match and make your own bundle, but they do have those kits available as well. The next idea I have is another kit. <laughs> Again, I'm with the, this must be the year of kits. So I'm going to be doing a couple of kit bundles for you guys. So the first one is going to be for the So Jolly Quilty Ornaments. I'm also gonna be having one for the So Jolly Stitchy Ornaments. So over on my Instagram, I'm gonna be giving away a kit for both of these to one of you guys. So two different kits. We did have these kits in my store at one point, but they sold out almost immediately. We did a second run of the kits. Those sold, sold out, so unfortunately you can't get 
get them anymore, but I did hold one back to do a giveaway for you guys. So this whole kit will be for giveaway. It's gonna include the pattern, the floss, the fabric, the ornament tins, the uh, sticky circles that go inside the ornament tins. So everything that you need to make the ornaments the way that I did here. And then this kit is gonna include all the fabric. You're gonna have some little buttons in there, also some ribbons. So everything you need to make the quilty ornaments as well. So stay tuned for that. Apparently this year is the year of let's do kits for everything because I just, like I said, think it's so much fun. And hopefully you guys are enjoying these. Um, daily videos will be coming out for our sew along for this starting December 1st. So stay tuned. I'm gonna be featuring one ornament every day and we're gonna just be sewing along and having fun together. So that will be coming soon. All right, I have one last fun gift idea for you. And this is from my friend Julia at Red Rain Boots Handmade. I have been following her almost since I started quilting, I think. And her and her family have a small business where they make handmade wooden barn quilts. They're really fun, a great way to decorate your sewing room. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen some of these, but I'm gonna share some of my favorites today. So she does offer them in a variety of sizes. The ones that I got for my sewing room are 11 inch blocks. They come on wooden blocks. They do have a hole in the back to hang them from. I've also used the 3M command strips, the Velcro strips to hang these as well. Um, but this is one of the ones that I've gotten. And these are the Camille Ross Kelly blocks. She also has some other ones. She also does seasonal ones, which are really cute as well. I got this one. And I also got this one. So I have them all three hanging up on my wall over here in my sewing room as decor. I love them. I also got a little mini in one of my sew sampler boxes one time, which was so much fun. So I have that one over here on my wall as well. I think a lot of times quilters don't necessarily purchase things to decorate their sewing spaces with. So those, these little wooden barn star quilts would be such a fun gift idea. And because they are a small business, she doesn't always have everything in stock all the time. She does small shop updates and her and her family work together to get all of these products out to you. So make sure you're following her on her Instagram account. She always announces all of the updates there and you can get all of that information on what she has available and everything through that outlet. For the giveaway, I chose one of her mini barn quilts. I chose the swoon block because I know a lot of you love Camille Ross Kelly's designs and that is one of her most popular blocks. That will be releasing on Instagram, so stay tuned for that coming soon. The last thing I wanted to mention were advent boxes. So every year I get an advent box for myself. I also get them for my kids. So a couple of ideas for your kiddos. I've done the chapstick, Burt's Beats does a chapstick box, which is great. Um, I've done sock advents. Last year we did um, charm bracelet advents for the girls and my son got socks. And this year we did, are doing puzzle advents. So those are all from Amazon. I'll link the exact ones that I got below. Um, but each day you have a little box and you just put together a portion of a puzzle um, and so by the time you're done, you have a full puzzle, which is really fun. For little um, younger kids, they have ones where they're just little mini puzzles. So each day you complete a puzzle, which I think is just such a fun idea. But the one that I got for myself this year, and don't worry, I'm not gonna do any spoilers other than just showing the outside of the box, but for the first year ever, I got the Jenny's Christmas countdown box. Now, from what I've been told, I've never got this before, but from what I've been told, this includes um, sewing things, but it also includes non-sewing things. So I think it's just a compilation of Jenny's favorite things. I think the boxes are sold out at this point. So if you're gonna do any of those advent calendar gift ideas, these always release really early in the year. So you're looking at like summertime when the advent calendars start popping up. The other one that I got is from Chelsea Yarns. So I'm not gonna be doing giveaways for the advent calendars, but I did wanna show them in the video just so that you know which ones I got. I will be unboxing or opening them um, daily on Instagram. So make sure you're following me there. I'll probably put it in my story so that might also go to Facebook. So as long as you're following me in one of those places, um, you'll be able to see and I'm hoping last year the Chelsea's yarn advent came with like a mystery knit along so every day you knit your little mini skein of yarn and it was a really pretty shawl so I'm really excited to see what she's going to do this year if she doesn't have a mystery knit along I might do um, my own mystery knit along <laughs> so I might either just make it up or find a shawl pattern that I like and then just you know, stripe those those yarns, but that will all be coming soon. Um, also, we've had a lot of questions on Vlogmas, and I think what we're gonna do for Vlogmas this year is what we did last year, which is one video per week, so you'll get four Vlogmas videos. Um, that's a little bit easier and more manageable on me. I have done, you can go back and watch all of our Vlogmases. I think we've done it since like 2016 maybe, or 17, somewhere in there. So there's a, lots of years of Vlogmas content for you to check out, um, but the daily videos are just so hard, and I also have 
have the daily um, ornament videos that are already scheduled and going up. So I want to just be able to not bombard you with too much, um, but I know you guys like Vlogmas and have been asking for that content. So there will be a Vlogmas light coming soon. Um, that'll be starting probably the first week in December. Our sew along for the So Jolly ornaments will also be starting December 1st. So lots of fun holiday content coming your way. Don't forget to comment below to enter the Laura Star giveaway. Head over to the laurastarus.com website and then come back here and let me know which product is your favorite and which color is your favorite and maybe even which color you'd like to see in the future. Maybe we can convince Laura Star to do like a blush pink iron. That's my vote. And don't forget to use that 10% off coupon code. It's Erica23. There's a link to their website below this video, and then you can get 10% off your order, and that is active now. That's gonna be it for our 2023 holiday gift guide and giveaways video. I hope you enjoyed all of these fun products, and um, best luck on all of the giveaways coming up. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe. You have to do it to enter the giveaway anyway, so you might as well get that done. And then you can also like this video and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming fun holiday content. Thanks for hanging out with me for today's video and I will see you next time. I wear the hat it's kind of hot out today it snowed the other day but it's like 70 today so i'm thinking the hat might be a little bit extra this is where i share all of my fun this is where i share should i go up a little this is probably i the one of the ones i am okay so just looking this these are hard to hold up <laughs> i can't hold them all up can i can she do it and if you haven't stopped by catching stitches, so there are these about, I would say, maybe three quarters of an inch thick wood. Ooh, right on the money. Stay tuned for all the giveaways and fun holiday content coming soon. I hope you enjoyed today. I hope you enjoyed. And then your thread is actually pulling up off of this. What is this called? Spool. I use it all the time. I know. And I know you guys have seen them in videos because it, be, and I did a whole video on putting this up in my beautiful spots. Maybe we can convince Laura Starr to do like a blush pink. That's on my phone. <laughs> it's kind of hard to show on um, video.